Welcome back everyone. I'm Jason and you're watching Jason Jensen Trains. In today's episode, we're going to be putting in some black top roads in this section. And we're going to try to match it to some black top roads that we have over on this side. Now along with putting in the black top, we're also going to put in some manhole covers and storm drains, which are brand new 3D printed parts that are available on my website at Jason Jensen Trains. All right, well, we have a lot to do, so let's get to it. So I've taken a ruler and drawn exactly where the roads are going to be. Next we'll have to remove all of our structures up here and the trees. We then have to cut two pieces of styrofoam, one for this side and one for this side, that's at a slight angle that's level with the top of the rail because we're going to have crossings right there. And then we'll cut a thin piece that looks like concrete in the center between the rails and then one on the far side. All right, well, let's start by removing everything on this level. Now you'll remember from a previous video that we made little foundations. So we have to move those also. Now I'm placing this on the cart in the same order that it goes on the layout so that I know exactly where my trees go. I don't want to get them mixed up. So I just cut some thin pieces using my Proxon hot wire cutter made by Proxon. And you can see it's pretty thin. I think it's about a sixteenth of an inch. And so I just had a thick piece and just kept running it through there and got some strips. Now I have one of the strips and I'm taking sandpaper and slightly rounding that so that it fits snug up against the rail. It really doesn't take much. So go very slow and just keep sanding it until it's a nice tight fit. Now the crossings will get painted to look like concrete. Okay, perfect. It's level with the top of the rail and as you can see, it fits snug right up against it. Now, be careful not to scratch or cut your rail. Okay, now we have to make one for this side. For this one, I cut it the width, same as this side, and put it on there straight, and then pressed it on the rail. Now what we'll do is we'll flip this over and carefully cut that. Next we're going to glue these pieces in place using liquid nails. You want to make sure that you get it all the way to the edge. There's definitely glue in the center, but I'm really concerned about uh, getting the edges so that it lays flat. 
and you want to slide it towards the rail so that you're thinning the glue so that it doesn't sort of ooze out onto the rail. Hopefully that makes sense. Now, with our one, two, three blocks, uh, I'll put a link in the description below the video, uh, an Amazon link where you can get these. I use these practically every day. They're just great weights. I cut a piece of cardboard the same size. So we'll lay that on there first. That does two things. It protects the rail so that you're not scratching the rail and it doesn't leave an indent of those holes in your styrofoam. And then just go ahead and press that down good and tight. Oh no. Well, I'm making a mess. <laughs> That's okay. I should have had paper towels handy. And I should have marked where this goes. I think that's pretty good. Careful not to get any glue, any of the liquid nails, on the top of your rail. Okay, we'll cover it. And press that down good. Okay, I'll go wash my hands. To prevent the glue from continuing to come out, turn the back side down and then that releases the pressure. You can actually back it, back that plunger up just a little bit um, and then it won't keep coming out. Okay, while we're waiting for that to dry, let's start masking off the road. So we're putting the tape right next to where the road is going to go. Now we have to prepare for our manhole covers and storm drains. So on my website, you can buy a set and you'll get three manhole covers and three storm drains. Now with those, let me back up a second. Um, they have to be cut off of the supports. Very easy. Just take a knife and slice it. Um, they should come right off. Okay, along with those, you get three manhole covers that are just flat. Now what we'll do is we'll take double-sided tape and we'll put these where we want them. That way when we spread our asphalt over it, we then can remove these pieces and put in the actual manhole cover. Same with the storm drains. You get three storm drains, just flat. And these, these will go right next to the sidewalk. All right, we'll get those put in place. Now you could also use, um, there is a putty, a sticky putty that people use for painting figures. They'll put a little bit of this putty on the bottom of the figure and then put that on top of something round or something that they hold and then they can paint their figure. Um, I forget what the putty is called. I apologize. Um, if I think of it, I'll put it up on the screen so that you can buy it. And you can probably buy it at any art supply store or any craft store. Or like I said, just simply double-sided tape will hold it in place. 
Okay, for the asphalt, we're using asphalt from Ammo by MIG. And you can see it's acrylic, so that means it's water-based. Easy cleanup. Now I'm using some really thick cardboard. Any type of cardboard or even a little spatula would work. Uh, I have one size to get it out of the container. Then I have a bigger one that we'll use to spread it nice and smooth. And notice it's slightly wider than the road. Um, what else? Uh, we have paper towels on hand. And I've already torn off a couple sheets. Oh, next. Let's take our weights off in our cardboard. We're going to put that right to the edge. Make sure it's a nice smooth transition to that foam. Now you do have some time before this starts to set up, so, so don't be too worried. We'll go over it with the wider piece and smooth it out. But you can see we're gently going over that manhole cover. And we'll remove that before this sets up and dries. So you can see I'm first going this direction so that it goes up to the height of the styrofoam. Okay, now we're going to take uh, an X-Acto knife and tweezers and very carefully remove the manhole covers and the storm drains. So tilt it up on one side. And let's, let's put them right there. So it's probably been, I would say, 10 minutes. It takes a full 24 hours for this to completely dry. So you want to go really slow, very slow when taking this off. And you want to pull it away, away from the road. So don't pull it towards the road. Pull it away from it. Okay, well, it's all done. Now we just have to let it sit for 24 hours to completely dry. Then we can paint it and weather it. So while we're waiting for this to dry, let's go over to the workbench and paint our manhole covers and the storm drains. Okay, before we paint our details, we need to do a couple things. First, we need to cut them off of the supports. Very simple. do it from a different angle so that you can see it better okay then if you'd like take a sandpaper or a file and just real quick go over the back of them 
it doesn't really matter on these because they're getting glued to the styrofoam. Okay, now we need to spray a primer on these. Okay, I did a very, very light misting of primer. Now we'll give that a few seconds to dry and then we'll put a base coat. And I think we're going to use a base coat of bittersweet chocolate. Now I'm doing a thin coat of the same thing, bittersweet chocolate. We don't want to paint it all at once because you're going to cover up the detail. So you want to do thin coats. Okay, we'll let this dry and maybe do one more coat over it. Okay, I just did my last coat and really made sure that I got all of the edges and inside all of the little grates. Next, we'll do a light wash of burnt sienna. But we'll let this dry really good before we do that. So I'm using a very small brush. And as you can see, just dabbing some randomly on it. Now, we'll dip the brush in water and move it around a little bit. Sort of blend it out. And maybe I'll get a little bigger brush. I waited a little too long. It's starting to dry. Okay, we'll let this dry. Now we're going to take some black, any black, And soak up some of the water around the edges. All right, now we'll let that dry. Now we're going to take some dry brush paint, light metal. Now you want a very soft brush. Get most of the paint off of it. And very lightly, very gently. All right, well, it's the next day, and uh, it's probably been 19, 20 hours, um, and this is all very hard, uh, completely dried. Now, just real quick, I'm going to use 150 grit sandpaper and just go over it quick, just so there's nothing raised on it. Okay, now... We're going to paint it and we're first going to start with neutral gray and uh, i've got some water Now we're going to take desert sand, we're going to mix it right in the gray on our palette. Now we're going to use sand gray.
Well, here's a blast from the past. <laughs> if you've been watching the channel for a while, you know that this is how I first started out weathering models. I used soft pastels and I would just keep them all in this box and I just scrub over them and brush them on. Uh, the reason I'm using this is because I want it to match the road on the other side and this is what I used. Okay, I think I'm about done. I do want to point out something that some people may not notice, but the dark area is not where the tires are. On the road, the lighter area is where the tires are, and the darker area is uh, beneath the car. So uh, some people will make the mistake of making it dark where the tires are. Let me grab a couple cars. So here you would have cars going this direction and cars going this direction. And you can see it's darkest underneath the vehicles. Hopefully that makes sense and hopefully that helps someone that is weathering their roads. Okay, now for the fun part. Let's add our manhole covers and storm drains. And we're gonna glue them in place just using white Elmer's glue. You may have to press them in there a little bit or even if you need to take a little um, X-Acto knife and scrape out any of the little paint that's built up in there, you can. These are fitting really well. Okay, nice. Now we'll actually take the glue and glue them in place. You know, I'm sure that some of you have noticed that I should have filled in the uh, cracks with joint compound or even liquid nails and filled it first um, before I did my roads. It's not a big deal. Once I get my sidewalks in and the buildings placed, you'll see a little indent in the road and I could even take um, some dark gray paint and make it look like they filled a crack. But yes, I should have filled that first. Uh, you know, I get in a hurry just like a lot of modelers. You're excited about a project and you want to get it done. And sometimes I forget to slow down and take the correct steps. Okay, next we need to get sidewalks put in. And then once the sidewalks are put in, uh, we can add leaves, newspaper, small trash to really give it some detail. Uh, but that's gonna have to be for another video. Um, don't forget, if you like the manhole covers and the sewer drains, um, you can get them at my website at jasonjensentrains.com. All right, well, hey, a huge, huge thank you to all of my Patreons. Uh, you guys are the best. I truly appreciate you all. All right, well, until next time, stay motivated and happy modeling, everyone.